Rutherford Caban says he stepped down because news of the investigations were a distraction to the NYPD. The mayor, who for days had been dodging questions about Caban's future today, accepted his resignation. So who will replace Caban? Mayor Adams chose to go outside of the department and name the former director of Homeland Security for New York, Tom Donlin, as interim commissioner. Donlin has a lengthy resume in law enforcement, including ter counterterrorism in the FBI. We have two reports on this big story tonight. Darnell Miles with more on the new commissioner, but we're going to begin with Jim Dolan in lower Manhattan and the resignation of the commissioner. Jim. Bill Edward Caban resigned today under a cloud of suspicion, but not a single actual ad, uh, accusation of wrongdoing. And in fact, he denies doing anything illegal, even though his phone was seized by the FBI last week. That left the commissioner trying to lead one law enforcement agency while being investigated by another. In the end, guilt and innocence were beside the point. Edward Caban, the first Latino to ever serve as the city's police commissioner, had to go. A short time ago, I was accepted the resignation of the NYPD Commissioner Edward Caban. He concluded that this is the best decision at this time. I respect his decision and I wish him well. After 30 years with the NYPD, Edward Caban was appointed to run it in July 2023. But he served just 14 months in that office, much of it under a swirl of controversy and allegations of corruption within a small circle that included his brother and a federal investigation that led last week to Caban's phone being seized by federal authorities. There's a, a shroud uh, around so many folks at top levels, it's really hard to move forward pretending that's not the case. And so the mayor had, has to still and had to do something, and maybe this is a step to help restore trust. My hope is that um, with the uh, commissioner choosing to tender his resignation, that that does alleviate a little bit of the pressure and stress. Caban issued a statement today saying, I believe firmly in the vital role of leaders with integrity who, by example, demonstrate the difference between right and wrong every day. I will continue to cooperate fully with the ongoing investigation. His lawyers issued a statement saying, Mr. Caban unequivocally denies any wrongdoing. We have been informed by the government that he is not a target of any investigation being conducted by the Southern District of New York. The mayor appointed an interim commissioner from outside the department, Tom Donlan, who has served in law enforcement at many levels around the world and lauded the work of Edward Caban. Commissioner Caban dedicated his life to making our city safer. And we saw a drop in crime for 13 of the 14 months he served as commissioner. Edward Caban uh, worked with the NYPD for 35 years. He started out walking a foot post in the Bronx. He worked his way up to run the department. His resignation becomes effective tomorrow.